2015 Prius C air conditioning recharge after a collision they just had to disconnect it to get some pieces off now it's time to recharge it I had a um, subscriber or not even sure if it's a subscriber yet uh, but I had somebody ask a question in my comments about why are some especially the YF vehicles this is specifically the YF vehicles but it also pertains to some R134 vehicles why are some of them having a problem cooling but they're only like five percent low on charge and after a re, re, uh, recovery and a recharge then they cool again and they're asking me about air contamination well why if let's go back in history all the way to r12 r12 was an excellent refrigerant and you let's say for every pound of refrigerant you have it has a certain capacity of how many BTUs it can remove per pound. We're going to use R12 back in the 1990s when they phased it out as our standard. Then they went to R134. R134 per pound of refrigerant was about 10% less efficient than R12. So you had a refrigerant that wasn't quite as good as R12. So they eventually they discovered they had to modify some of the hardware to make it work better. More fins per inch, more tubes, more surface area, stuff like that. Uh, better airflow. Now let's go forward in 2012, they just started introducing our 1234YF. And YF is a little bit less efficient than our 134. So you see we keep going down. But at the same time, the EPA is starting to mandate for the vehicles to have smaller and smaller refrigerant capacities so they could meet a quota to be not so global warming with the newer refrigerant and more leak free. So that's another uh, problem they're having. So what they did was for efficiency, they went to the small micro channel tube and fin, but as they kept going smaller and smaller in condensers and evaporators, and getting the tube smaller, the fin smaller, and the mass size smaller, the refrigerant charge kept going down because they're and they're also trying to make the systems more efficient and lighter and smaller. So they go to smaller compressors, they overdrive them. Uh, they're doing a lot of things to meet all these criteria. Well, one of the negative side effects, this is 420 grams on this Prius C. That's under one pound of refrigerant. When you get that small in a crucial charge system, now, when you have uh, micro-channel condensers, that's the ones with these little tubes, not big round tubes. Remember the old-fashioned ones with big round tubes? You could be really slap, sloppy on your gas charge, and there was so much excessive room extra that the gas can expand into that if you were a little bit over, it really didn't make a big difference. But on these crucially charged vehicles, with extra small capacities. You could just be off one, two ounces and it'll make a big difference on certain ambient conditions where it doesn't cool very well. It cools, but not very well. And there's even like the Prius, no, the Yaris, I think even had a smaller refrigerant capacity of 390 grams, which is roughly 12 ounces. Now, if you're two or three ounces on a 12 ounce system off, what is the percentage of capacity that you're off when you're two or three ounces on a 12 ounce system? That's a huge capacity compared to old vehicles that used to be you're like two pounds, 2.2 pounds per vehicle. If you were two or three ounces off on two pounds, that was nothing. No big deal. You'll never notice it. Okay, so I'll get back on this one and charge this one up and I'll get to you. Oh, yeah. Uh, been a long time, but definitely one of the best vacuum pumps that I've uh, ever had. And you can see it's beat to hell. And you can see the part number on it. Barely. This is the NRD16T. Uh, best vacuum pump I've ever had. All right, guys. I'll see you.